Hey guys, it's Lizzie. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a form of emotional abuse called gaslighting, which I've experienced in a relationship. In the past couple years, the word gaslighting has become extremely popular and people throw it around as a joke in a really casual way, like, my roommate disagreed with me, she's gaslighting me. This video is going to discuss the true meaning of gaslighting. First, we're gonna talk about the etymology, which I think is so interesting. In 1938, there was a British play called Gaslight written by Patrick Hamilton. In the play, the husband Jack wants to make his wife Bella feel crazy. Throughout the play, he lies to her by making noises around the house and then telling her that he didn't hear any sound. He also would dim the lights, which were called gas lights, in the house and then tell her that the lights were not actually getting darker. At the end of the play, Jack succeeded because Bella thought she was crazy. A few decades later, the name of the play, Gaslight, began to be used to describe a specific type of emotional manipulation, which is a type of abusive relationship. So these are five signs of gaslighting. It's important to know that anyone can gaslight. It's most seen in romantic relationships, but it can also be a parent, a roommate, a coworker. It is very important to remember that women can be the abuser and men can be the victim. A lot of times male victims of any type of abuse are not believed, so watch out, women can do this too. Even if there is no physical abuse, yelling or name calling, it can still be an abusive relationship. Number one sign of gaslighting, you begin to doubt your own memory. Your significant other talks about what he said, what you said, what happened, and you remember experiencing something different. What he is saying contradicts what you remember happening. If this just happens a few times, it might not be a red flag. Someone could be exaggerating in order to tell a story or someone else may have forgotten what happened. But when this becomes a pattern and you routinely feel like your memory is opposite of what he is saying, that's when it really is a red flag. You really want to look out for repetitive behavior. Unless you have an illness that causes memory loss or take a medication that can cause memory loss, it is not normal to be constantly questioning your memory and feeling crazy. I have bipolar disorder, which involves a lot of memory loss and even having an illness with memory loss, I do not routinely feel crazy and question my own memory. All I know is like, oh, I forgot that happened. I don't have my husband sharing all these things of what happened and feel like I had an opposite memory of this. I just forgot what happened. So you might be thinking right now that it is very dangerous if a gaslighter is in a relationship with someone who has a mental illness with memory loss. So this could be depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder. There's also a lot of other physical illnesses that can cause memory loss. And there are medications that it might say on the medication paperwork you get from the pharmacy that memory loss or memory problems can occur from the medication. So if you're in this situation, the abuser is 100% going to use all of this as ammunition against you. I know one situation of someone I know where the abuser showed the medication side effects to other people in the family to point out that one family member is crazy and not remembering what happened. But let's say you have bipolar like me, just think about like how it normally is and then around this person, is it like new or more likely that you have that like, oh, I feel crazy feeling? Like if you've never experienced it before through all your memory loss and now you're in this new relationship and you routinely feel crazy, like you're forgetting a lot of things, all these contradictions in what he's saying and what you think happened. Pay attention if something different happens. Also, if you have a mental illness, I know for me, I never create false memories. 
All that happens is I don't remember, but I do not have these consistent false memories contradicting other people, so that's a huge distinction that you should know. I am getting so heated talking about this because I experienced it, and your will is just broken down and broken down, and for me, I kept leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back. It was like so hard to get away, and then by the end, I was apologizing for everything, and then I didn't even talk about the situation for like, three years and then I was finally in therapy for my bipolar disorder and I talked about it and the therapist was like that was abusive and it was the first time that I like fully believed that what happened was wrong and that something terrible happened to me. Please pay attention and do not end up staying in one of these situations. I literally have had nightmares about this person. Number two, you begin to not trust your friends and family. So I'm gonna switch to female pronouns for this one just because an abuser can be a man or a woman. So in this one, the wife is the abuser. So when the wife gaslighter is hanging out with your family and friends, maybe you're like in another conversation or maybe you're not there for some reason, the wife comes back to the husband and reports what happened or what someone said. Let's say it's the husband's best friend. So the wife is saying, your best friend said this or your best friend did this. And then the best friend of the husband is saying something opposite or different from what the gaslighting wife is saying. You'll kind of shrug it off a few times, like maybe someone was exaggerating to tell a story, maybe someone forgot, but we're looking for consistent behavior. What the gaslighting wife will do is sow these seeds of distrust. So she'll say, your best friend doesn't have your best interest in mind. Your best friend is lying to you. Your best friend doesn't trust you. The wife will communicate that of everyone in the husband's life she cares about him the most knows him the most has the best intentions for him and that that is superior to family and friends in his life so if multiple times you're experiencing this dichotomy where the abuser wife is saying this happened this person said this and then your best friend is saying this happened this person said this and they're contradicting each other and this is a pattern it's happened multiple times this can be gaslighting just stop and think is my best friend a liar? Does my best friend continually forget important parts of his life? It is not normal to consistently have false memories or other people you know to have false memories. You need to pay attention. Is the wife at the center of all of this? Number three sign of gaslighting. You begin to believe that you're the abuser. This one infuriates me. This is how it goes down. So the gaslighting boyfriend, you're dating him and you bring up that you believe he is lying to you, manipulating you, that it's a type of emotional abuse. You bring up problems that are going on regarding the gaslighting. And then he spins it around and explains that you're the one who is manipulating him. Your boyfriend will bring up all this evidence, explanations for why you're the one manipulating him. You may even begin apologizing to him and it doesn't have to happen in that specific conversation, although it does a lot, but you'll find over time in the gaslighting, you are the one apologizing. Just think, do you have a gut feeling that you are being harmed, that you are being made to feel crazy, that something terrible is happening to you. In a healthy relationship, if you bring something up with your significant other where they're hurting you, the person will apologize, ask questions, oh, what am I doing to make you feel like that? Okay, I'll change, I'll be better. In a healthy relationship, it is not normal to bring up, you are hurting me, and then leave the conversation and think, oh, I'm hurting him. That is not normal or healthy at all. The reason this works so well is because the abusive boyfriend over time has gotten the girlfriend to not trust her own memory. And so what he says holds extra weight for her because he's basically broken down her will and her fight. She's been made to feel that she cannot trust herself 
and so of course she's gonna trust the boyfriend. Number four side of gaslighting, you become isolated from your friends and family. So in any situation, this is a red flag, not just gaslighting, but it often does happen with gaslighting. The reason for this is that the abuser wants to isolate you and make sure that you don't have these strong relationships on the outside to run to to get out of the relationship. Here's how it goes down. The abuser will start bringing up negative things about your friends and family, bringing up evidence of how they're not good for you, they don't have your best interest in mind, they've done things to undermine your trust. It's totally normal in healthy relationships for your significant other to maybe like some of your friends more than others, not like some of your friends. But if it's a situation where everyone in your life multiple friends, multiple family members, your significant other is saying these people are toxic, they aren't good to have in your life, they don't care about you. If it's like a lot of people that your significant other thinks are not good for you, that's when it's the big red flag. It is very important to remember that your friends and family who have known you your entire life do have your best interests in mind, love you unconditionally, want nothing better than for you to succeed and flourish and be happy. Even if you feel like your girlfriend understands you on a much deeper level, or maybe you've divulged more details about yourself with your girlfriend, you still have to know that your best friends and family do care about you unconditionally and have really good perspectives about you and what's good for you. Ultimately, if you're the one in the relationship, you do not have that outside objective perspective about what's happening, but your friends and family do. Number five, the gaslighter begins manipulating your friends and family against you. He'll make you seem crazy to them so that if you do try to leave the relationship, they don't believe you, which is so sad and gut-wrenching, but it happens all the time where the gaslighter has gotten everyone in your life on his side, made everyone think your memory is bad, you're lying, you're the problem. And then when you try to get out and you say, no, he's the abuser, they don't believe you. People like this who gaslight can come across as very charming and empathetic and caring. And so if all of this stuff is going on inside the relationship, it can be so hard for people in your life to believe the truth about how bad this person is. When this starts to happen where the gaslighter is weaponizing your friends and family against you, it's really important to leave immediately because the longer you wait, the more likely you won't be believed. Let's say that you are friends with someone who's dating this girl who is gaslighting. It can be really hard as a friend to believe all this terrible stuff is going on, especially because you're probably friends with her, you've hung out a lot with your best friend and the abuser girlfriend. And so as a friend or a family member, it can be really hard to believe that this charming, empathetic, trustworthy, intelligent, caring person behind the scenes is so terrible. It can be really hard to believe. And so if your friend comes to you and says, this person is making me feel crazy. I'm in an abusive relationship. It's really important to listen and to believe because it is not normal for someone to say, I'm being abused in a relationship. This person is making me feel crazy. People don't typically lie about that. I'm sure there's terrible people that lie about someone who they're dating. If your friend is a really good person and trustworthy and he's coming to you and saying, my girlfriend is doing this, it's really important to lean on the side of believing your friend. So what to do if you're currently experiencing this or you begin to experience it in a future relationship? Leave immediately. Do not try to fix it. It's not going to get better. It's going to get a lot worse. Do not try to fix the relationship, leave. People like this likely have narcissistic personality disorder or antisocial personality disorder, and a lot of times they can't get better. Also know that like me, you're probably going to leave multiple times. Try as much as possible to leave and make it permanent, 
but it's very common in abusive situations to go back to the abuser and then come out again so if that happens where you leave and then come back don't give up leave again it might take several tries but it's really important to be in a loving healthy relationship do not try to fix this it's best to cut all communication because otherwise the gaslighter will be reaching out to you, trying to convince you to stay in the relationship with them. Maybe they'll even take accountability and promise to change, just give them more time. But no, they will not get better. If one of your friends or family members does believe you about it being gaslighting in an abusive relationship, maybe ask them to keep you accountable to not going back to your abuser. Breaking off the relationship will be very difficult because the abuser is going to manipulate you to stay. I personally think that you should just leave and not give them like a whole talk about you're gaslighting me, here are all the signs, this is what you did to me because it's probably not gonna get through to them at all and any way that you keep talking to them about it is just gonna be turned against you, manipulated against you. So it's important to just leave. It is also common in abusive situations like this that when you break up with them, they threaten to kill themselves. If that happens, contact multiple family members and friends of this person, call 911, get them involuntarily admitted to a psych ward at a hospital, and then leave. The vast majority of the time, this is an empty threat meant to manipulate you. If you are living with this person, reach out to a family or friend and ask to stay with them for a while, even just for one night starting off. Your family and friends might not understand right away, but just be very intense and stern and say, I need to leave this relationship, it's abusive, can I please stay with you? And I promise you're going to forge your own way in the world and you're going to flourish and be happy happy and get out of this person's life. You are so worthy of being in a healthy relationship and cutting this person out of your life forever. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!